What's up, my friends? This video is for you if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired of chronic weed addiction. If you don't want to let another week, month, year, decade pass, just being stuck and miserable. And in that cycle where you're just not facing the truth that weed addiction, it stops your growth. Now, obviously this video is not for you if you're kicking ass in life and smoking weed and you're just on top of the world and you're super creative and you follow through on everything and your relationships are great. And uh, yeah, more power to you. I tried to make that work. I believed, in fact, the belief that that would work is what kept me in that addiction for decades. Today's video is titled, Quit Weed and Go All In on Life. I, that's what I had to do. I quit weed a hundred times plus, but I didn't go all in on life. I still avoided the challenges that I had. I was still undisciplined. I still wasn't honest with myself about the parts of me that I really needed to face and make some real decisions on what I really wanted with my life. And when I did that, I'd always go back to smoking weed because it's like, what's the point? I need some relief. I'm miserable anyway, with or without weed. But the good news is, is if you go all in on life, if you quit weed and go all in, I know I had to quit weed. I know that that's not a popular uh, sentiment in our big 420 multi-billion dollar marijuana business culture. But that's my experience. And there's so many people that I know in my family and, and in the culture here that are just stuck. And yet they get so much positive support for continuing to smoke weed. It's just tragic. It is. It's tragic. And it's clear that it's a problem. And it's clear that it is blocking you. But if you're ready to put it down, if you're ready to go all in on life, you can quit weed. But that's really what it's going to take. The reward is rich. It is a rich life. It doesn't always feel good because you feel everything. It's life on life's terms. And life on life's terms can be uncomfortable. I know the uh, humbling of the truths I've had to face about myself the insecurities that I've had, the challenges I've had um, with my esteem and my worthiness. And it takes change to deal with that stuff. And when you're used to being a chronic weed addict, you don't like change. You like comfort. You like a warm little banky. Ooh, it's cold. I want a little warm weed hit and feel soft and good and creative and pretty. <laughs> kind of sarcastic, I guess, but, but there's a lot to that. I mean, that's what I used weed for. I love those feelings. I didn't like the prickly feelings of growth, the stepping into discomfort and, and, and being honest and taking my mask off and telling the truth about the things that have blocked me and the fear that's ruled my life. But that's what it takes. You got to go all in on life. That's going all in on life. Man, all the opportunities that pass me by. And then ruminating on that and ruminating on all the years that I wasted getting high. That was not going all in on life when I continued to ruminate about that. That was, uh, yeah, I got comfortable with that tragic story about that. 
That became my little, that became my warm blanket. It wasn't all in on life, it's a cop out. Going all in on life is taking full responsibility for your life. But the rewards are uncalculable. I think that's a word. I think I use it appropriately. <laughs> I don't always know. But I do know this, that I can look myself in the eye today in the mirror. And I know that I'm doing my best. And I know life on life's terms is kind of two steps forward and one step back. And there's a lot of uh, humbling things to um, trying to outgrow old habits and old thought patterns. And um, yeah, weed is a symptom of that. It's a way to cope with those things that we don't want to face. And you take that away and there's no coping skills, but facing it. And it's prickly. It is. But you can handle it. And if you want to live your highest, best life, you can quit weed and go all in on life. Um, if you got any value out of this video, I'm going to keep making videos. Hope that helps. Much love. If you got any value, please subscribe. Peace.